my name is Julianne Darnell. I run the Mosquito Control and Surveillance Contract on Nantucket Island. I'm here to answer a few mosquito questions that I commonly get asked about the island and our population. There is about 30 different species we have on island. We regularly see about 15 different species. We have species that breed in salt marshes, fresh water, and also in containers that are left around by humans. Um, mosquitoes can be found in all different sections of the island. Where else can you find these mosquitoes? They are found anywhere where there is sitting water, water, whether that is salt water, brackish, or fresh water. And how long do they usually like stick around? Depending on the species, they can live about two weeks to three months. A lot of the species we have on island tend to live between a month and two months. And depending on the season, if it starts to get below 50 degrees, they normally start to die off. Why do they bite me? They are attracted to heat and carbon dioxide. So if you are exercising a lot or breathing heavy in general, putting out more energy and carbon dioxide, they will be more attracted. They uh, bite and take your blood to use for the proteins in your blood. The females use the proteins to help develop her eggs before she lays them. Do all female mosquitoes bite? All female, or most female uh, mosquitoes of, of all species will bite some animal or another. Not all species bite humans. Some are prey specifically on birds or another type of animal. Some of them are generalists and will just bite anything they find. And there are a few that are basically pollen, uh, like work only with plants. So when am I most likely to be bit by a mosquito? You're most likely to be bit by a mosquito if you're out around dawn or dusk, if you are near sitting water, and as mentioned before, if you've been exercising and putting out a lot of carbon dioxide and energy. For mosquito safety tips, when you're at, just make sure you are always wearing some sort of bug spray approved by the FDA. Dump out any sitting water you might have sitting around your house. Try to avoid being out in mosquito heavy areas around dawn and dusk. And, in and also, as a related Nantucket tip, always check yourself for ticks when coming back from any of our nature trails or anything like that. Alright, um, any other questions? So I get eaten more than anyone else in my entire family. Why is it that I am the one? Yeah, yeah, it depends on the person. Everyone's slightly different level of attractiveness. It can depend on your blood type. If you say have a lower resting body temperature, you'll be more attractive. Pregnant women, mm -hmm. I believe in studies have been found to be more attractive. There's some myths about people who regularly eat bananas. I have no idea whether those are true or not. Not. But generally, uh, it is, yeah, your body temperature, blood type, and your general carbon dioxide output. Um, any other questions? Can you tell me more about mosquito ditching? Mosquito ditches were, uh, were dug often in the Great Works Project after the Great Depression, and they were done originally as an attempt to give the marshes some drainage to have less sitting water and thus breed less mosquitoes. That was the goal, but that's not always how it worked out. Often when they were digging these ditches, they would basically take the dirt they dug and put it on the marsh right next to them. So the effect of that could be that actually led to more sitting water on the marsh and thus more mosquito breeding. Sometimes the ditches were done more, like, more efficiently and their do the dirt was not left on the marsh. In that case, it could lead to more drainage at the time, but it also, over time, would build up and they would start to back up and essentially lead to more sitting water again, which is what has happened to a lot of the marshes in New England, because they were dug in the 30s and then not touched again after that. Also, its marshes are pretty good at draining themselves. So it wasn't, always, it wasn't always necessary to do this. Some of the least mosquito-y marshes are the ones that have not been touched at all. So mar uh, marsh 
ditches were an attempt to get rid of mosquitoes that had very mixed results overall. I have a question. What kind of health concerns are there uh, from mosquitoes on Nantucket? Mosquitoes can carry a lot of different diseases. Um, mosquitoes are actually the deadliest animal in the world of humans. Generally that is because of uh, malaria, dengue fever, or dengue and yellow fever, which we don't have to worry about here. The main issues on Nantucket is going to be West Nile and Eastern equine encephalitis, Tripoli. Uh, those can be carried by mosquitoes and can be passed by their bite. On Nantucket, we do not see a lot of it, but it is very possible for it to spread from the mainland and the mosquitoes we have on island are capable of transmitting it. So it's important to avoid mosquito bites if at all possible. Are you noticing any uh, changes due to increase in temperature from climate change uh, with the spread of those sorts of concerns? I believe the pattern of some of the diseases is moving further north. I don't know, I don't know how many studies have been done, I don't know exactly how much of a change there is. I believe the range of some of the mosquitoes is, uh, is growing, like I believe Aedes albopictus is a big one that is capable of spreading disease and they have been slowly moving further around the country. Um, just as a general, climate change has meant that it stays warmer later into the season often, so normally at this time of year, it is mid-October, we'll see all the mosquitoes dead because it'll have hit 50 degrees by now. But this year we still have a few hanging around just because it's staying warmer. How do you trap them? So we use two different types of traps on the island and there's lots of others that are in use elsewhere. The two we use are gravid traps and CDC traps. In gravid traps, you have a bucket of water that's been sitting for a while with leaves and other decaying matter sitting in it. The water smells really bad to us, but really good to the mosquitoes because it means that this is water that's been sitting and that won't move and flush the eggs away. So the female mosquitoes, specifically Culex mosquitoes, will lay their eggs in this water. As they fly down to lay their eggs, we have a box with essentially just a fan sitting above it, and that fan feeds a tube into a, uh, a little net. So we put the box above the water. As the mosquitoes fly to lay their eggs, they get sucked into the net. For the CDC trap, we have, we use dry ice. Dry ice puts out carbon dioxide, which the mosquitoes smell and think there's uh, a mammal around, and they, and they come and they try to bite whatever is putting out the CO2. But we have the CO2 in a cooler that's attached to a hose, and the hose leads into another fan connected to a net. So when they get attracted to the CO2 and they fly towards that hose, they get sucked into the net. From there, we freeze the mosquitoes and then we ID them to see what species are in what areas of the island. Thank you, it's really interesting.